All right. So Truth Lab Thursdays, once again, thank you guys for being patient during my hiatus. It was uh, super busy, crazy, like crazy, crazy, crazy. But I'm back again and answering questions. Truth Lab Thursdays is just for people that have questions, doubts, unbeliefs about the Bible or God. I just want to look it up, research, and answer questions. I know people have questions and... Um, instead of just, you know, not asking them, I figured put them out there and bless somebody else uh, with the opportunity to research and to, to look into the answer. So um, I've, I've answered these questions personally and now I'll put them out publicly just for the benefit of people that want to um, want to understand, want to uh, have this, they might have the same questions. So this is a question, of course, this is kind of late. <laughs> This is from like a couple months ago. But this question, uh, does surrender unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar mean I have to vote? So this whole manipulation and sorcery into voting and you got to vote or else people are died for your vote. So if you don't vote, you're disrespecting everything that's holy and all that garbage. Uh, and so people, you know, will quote the scripture. It says, give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Um, and actually that they act like that means to vote. Well, voting is not a command in our natural government, let alone the spiritual government. It's, it's totally different. So when you say render unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar, what that means is taxes. That literally means taxes. Because when Jesus was talking about that, he said, look at the image. He was basically saying, your money has the image of of king caesar on it right just like our money has the press the image of the presidents on it the image of the illumina the, the pyramid the all-seeing eye so it's babylon's money so we give it back to babylon but we our souls and our bodies are made in the image of god so we give our souls to god we don't have to give our souls to the government we give money to the government we give our souls to god okay so you don't quote that scripture to force people to vote. It's not a law. Um, and if we feel like we are required, required to vote when we are not, that's actually proof that we've given our soul to Caesar and not to God. So if you're quoting that scripture to force people to vote, you're actually in complete violation of that scripture and you're doing the exact opposite of what that scripture actually teaches. So I'm not saying it's a sin to vote. You can definitely vote if you feel led to. Um, if you if you vote for sin, you know, and you know it, then something's wrong, and you need to give your soul back to God. Uh, you can be led by the Spirit if you vote. You can be led by the Spirit not to vote. But your soul belongs to God. Your soul does not belong to the government. So give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar is talking about tax money. We don't evade taxes. We don't avoid taxes. We don't try to not give <laughs> The, the very money that has the image of Babylon on it and the image of the kings of Babylon on it and try to keep it and not give it back to them when they ask for their, their portion or whatever they want. Let let them have their money and we'll give our souls to God. 